Hello there boys and girls, welcome to Scottish Geeks. Today we're going to be playing something a little bit different. We're going to be playing a game that I have no idea how to pronounce. Boche Revolution? Bocce Revolution? I don't know, but all I'm going to say is, is from the screenshots, it looks a little bit like carpet balls. Which I know a lot of you are going to go, oh my god I'm excited, carpet balls. But you know, some people really enjoy sports like this, and I remember playing this when I was a kid with my grandfather. He had a lawn set, so it brings back some good memories for me. But I thought we'd give it a try anyway and see what it's like. Now, as I said, the developer sent it to me, but that will not change my view on it. I will, as always, be completely honest about the game itself. Talking of which, let's get started. Now, this is going to be a short review because I just want to check it out. I don't want to play an entire full Good game of it. To all. Today, two formidable athletes with enviable honours to take the field. We will get to see a spectacular show. Okay, now basically to go through the rules, if this is what I think it is, we are to try and get our ball as close to this ball as possible. The game, as probably some of you may say, is a lot about balls. Tons and tons of balls. Is that my catchphrase now? Do I really have to keep saying that? I don't know. But anyway, so I'm going to give this a try. So we're going to have to try and get a little bit of precision going on here and try and get as close to this little red ball as absolutely possible. Now, I have no idea how the AI is going to play, but he has a lovely moustache. So let's find out anyway. So we are going to try and get this here, right about here. Let's see if this works. Okay, dude, let's go. Okay, let's try and get this ball as close to this red ball as possible. Oh, I think we may have just not been quite fast enough. Or maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Come on, dude. Come on, come on. A little bit more. A little bit more. You got more than you. Ah. Is that it? Okay. Physics uh, in the game seem to be spot on uh, so far. Uh, let's skip his throw. Oh, no. It's, yeah, let's skip that. Okay, so. Oh, it's me again. Excellent. True. Oh no, he got it. Okay, well the AI is overpowered straight away. He got it instantly next to the ball, which personally I think is mildly unfair. So I'm going to go for a strong throw. And I'm going to go for uh, an above hand throw. That's fine. We're going to select the ball. That's the one we're aiming at. So I just want to knock it out the way. So let's just go for a little bit less power and see if we can knock this ball out of the way. Did we knock it out of the way? I don't fucking think so. I think we missed completely there. There's not an awful lot of um, precision in the game, but I think this is uh, I th it's a Disotech. Um, I think this is their first uh, attempt at delivery of this game, so the ball did not hit the selected piece, the throw has been cancelled. So we could try again. So let's try again. Let's go for an into the air throw. And I want to hit that ball. And I wanna, yeah, I wanna do that, so let's see if I can get this. Let's move this over slightly. And rotate just a tad to bit there. Okay, and a little bit less power this time. Right, okay, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Oh, we did it, we did it, we knocked him out of the way, that's good. A little bit of a clanking sound there, so that was good. Now, I know you guys, um, some of you may be into this game, some of you may not, but I think this is one of those games that is particularly, it's not particularly aimed towards your casual gamers or your expert gamers, it is aimed towards fans of the sport. And as I'm not particularly a huge fan of the sport, I can't say that it has a massive appeal to me, but again, I can't see where the massive appeal would come into uh, if people were into the sport. So let's try one more time. We're going to go for a precision one. Hang on, what did that get cancelled? Yeah, whatever. Uh, let's see. Okay, come on. Let's get this ball in there. Yeah, tiny little underhand you throw there. I don't know, I just, I don't think the physics are quite right on it. I think it could do with a little bit of improvement. Especially when it comes to the video game, uh, the AI of the computer game player. He just seems to be able to instantly get everything where he wants it to be. So I'm just going to see what, see what happens with this throw. Let's, ha let's have a look and see what he does with it. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Right, let's see what he does here. Now he, actually he's not done too too well with that shot. 
But he has blocked us. Oh no, here we go. It's getting closer. It's getting closer. Yeah, the, the AI in this game is a little bit overpowered in terms of accuracy, etc. So, so I'm going to skip this over and I'm going to actually exit from... Excellent. Truly ex yeah, truly excellent. Let's skip again. Continue. Okay, but the round's ended with the computer player winning. I don't actually know what the hell went on there. So let's exit out of this game there. Now, the, this game could do with a bit of work um, in terms of the AI. It could do with a tutorial mode for people who don't know what they're doing. And uh, yeah, just a general all round smoothing of the game. Not to say that it's a bad game, but not to say that it's a brilliant game either. It's not one I would directly recommend unless you are actually into the sport itself. But if you are into the sport and you want to try it on a computer, I would say give this a go. But if not, I would say stick to the real thing. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit that like button. Um, and I'll catch you next time, but until then... Bubble.